So what's the difference between hand analysis and palmistry? I get to ask this all the time, and it's completely two different fields. Though I will acknowledge that the roots of hand analysis are from 2,000 or more years of palmistry. Um, back in, uh, since the time of Aristotle, they've seen a relationship of the hands to life. And going back 5,000 years, the Hindus were writing texts that there are these, this relationship and they were be able to go into a predictive uh, way saying, okay, it's even linked to the stars. Hand analysis today is a modern science that empirically looks at people's life pattern, like twins separated from birth. And it, it looks at the whole system of how your hands represent you. And what is it, what, what, who are you? And who are you is this whole system. And the hand is a mirror of this whole system. And different people have different hands, different personality types have different hands, but more importantly, similar personality types have similar hands. And similar people with similar problems have the similar fingerprints. And when you could start organizing people in this way, not by whether they have a fish sign or whether you're trying to do a forecast, I don't care about the future that you think you have or what that forecast is. What I care is that you're living a life and you're living it powerfully and hands offer the entire blueprint of what's not working, where you're shut down, as well as what fulfills you. That map is literally the serotonin and dopamine map of where it runs through your entire system. And it's a map of your brain. So when I'm looking at you, I'm looking at and reading your brain. I'm looking at how do you function? What is it that makes you in your element and how you thrive in your